Scatter plots deal with something you've seen before, I just never called it. Uh, this name. They deal with bivariate data. I want you to have a guess as to what you think bivariate means. Many variables. How two variables? There's data which has two, one, two, variable kind of quantities in it. So have a look at this one for instance. This is bivariate data. There are two parts to it. Have a look at the axes. Can you see that? This is weight versus height. Okay. So the way that you would say this is they have plotted weight against height. I'm trying to compare. Does weight have anything to do with height? And the answer is, well, of course it does but they're loosely connected, right? Just because you're a certain weight, that doesn't automatically mean you're a certain height, uh, nor vice versa, okay? So you can see that this is the scatter plot. Why do you think they call it a scatter plot? Because when you plot the points, the dots are scattered all around, okay? And you can see here, generally speaking, the more you weigh, the taller you are, generally speaking. Does that make sense? Like you have very, very few people who are very, very small, but also really tall. Though for what it's worth, can you see where you are? Yes. Can you, can you picture where you are? You're an actual dot on there. Um, I'm just looking for where I am. Yeah, I'm near the bottom. Uh, yeah, I'm, um, I'm here. That's where I am. So, uh, yeah, this is, this is why we wear the same shirts, right? Anyway, so, yeah, question. Yep. What chapter was that? That was 14. Oh, okay. So that was the very, very last exercise, actually, of chapter 14. Okay. But we didn't do the exercise because I actually don't believe the exercise really addresses the slip stop points. Um, uh, basically, it does way too much stuff. Oh, so done everything. That's chapter 14. Okay. Done. So now we're in chapter 13. <laughs> so now, I want you to turn over. And I want you to have a look at these. So here's some scatter plots. Have a look at each of these graphs, A, B, and C. And I want you to think about what each one tells you. Okay? So for graph A, do you see how they're pretty much randomly spread out? Do you notice that? So what this means is that, for example, if we, we went back to weight and height, right? That means if you were like this weight, you could be any height at all. There's people all along here who are random heights for the same weight. Or correspondingly, if you go to a particular height, you can say, I can find anyone who's the same weight, and they're all, sorry, everyone who's a different weight, and they're all the same height. In which case, that means there's no actual relationship here, okay? Um, weight and height aren't connected in any way. Of course, we know that's actually not the case. There is a connection that looks more like this one, okay? So this connection, sorry, I'm overwhelming you with words today, between the two variables is called correlation. Can you see it up there? It's over there in bold. Okay. So underneath where you've written this, I'd love you to write, correlation is a measure of how closely related, these, this is bivariate data, so there are two variables. How closely are those two variables related? Do you need a drink or something? No. So, if a set of bivariate data has high correlation, that means if you're one thing, you're going to be another. Like, guaranteed, I have a great deal of certainty about it. Okay? Whereas, if things have very low correlation, it's like, you know what? You can tell me this piece of information, and I have no idea really about um, where, what you're going to be in the other variable. 